was right down there, Captain. All right, let's take a look, Sergeant. Stay here. point around here, Captain. Still too wide. Take us too long to get a bridge across here. It'll be dark soon. We'll try again in the morning. Couldn't get my sure. Let's go check him out. Hey, Sarge. Let me take a look at that thing. It's gonna be an easy mission, he says. All we gotta do is find a narrow spot in the river. We almost got our heads shot off twice today already. The captain handles himself okay, though.
there, Mr. Cole. Lieutenant Hanley, Cole. I've been expecting you. Read your stuff from Anzio. Pretty good. Thank you. Here, you can store your stuff right in this pocket, Sandy. You might find a little dough around here. We're helping division engineer scout a river for a bridge crossing. You're still sending out combat patrols, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Well, that's good enough for me. I understand there's a Captain Cole with you. Yeah, he checked in a few days ago. You related? Yeah, related. Right after we'll patrol. Anybody else hit? No. Want place to bridge? Well, we're gonna have to go out again in the morning. Oh, this is Jack Cole, correspondent with the Boston Press. Up here to write some stories. Kirby, true stories. <laughs> Sergeant Saunders, Kirby, Hi. Little John, Hi. King, Hi. Doc, Cage. Hi. Kirby, uh, spelled K-I-R-B-Y. Cole. Spelled C-O-L-E. <laughs> uh, you're not related to our captain from engineers, are you? Just his old man, Kirby. That's right. some. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, last time I saw you, you were in college. Before the war. That's right. I visited your mother's grave before I came over. Sorry, I uh, couldn't get there before, but by the time the letter caught up with me, uh, yeah. Well, sure. I, uh, I got a lot of paperwork ahead of me. I'll be seeing you around. Sure. We got hit here. This is a heavy patrol area. And this is where we'll be going out again in the morning. Okay. Cole will probably go with you. You mean a correspondent? Yeah. We got the word from the headquarters. Oh, we'll operate, huh? Saunders, fill you in? Yes, sir. How about a drink, Hanley? Fine. Sarge. We're sharing security with big company tonight. Kirby, little John, you're up first. Okay. Uh, hey, what if I take that correspondent with me, huh? I'll just uh, fill him in a little bit on how we've been winning the war and everything. Okay? Well, Doc, fix this up, will you? Okay. He knows how to spell your name. Don't worry. Oh, Case, what are you talking about? Just do you guys a favor. I mean, you can't go out there and talk about yourself, can you? I can tell him about your medals. I reluctantly admit you got about 12. You never show anybody. 
I'll bet you'll talk about me. And hey, there was some family reunion over there. Yeah, it was. You know, it kind of reminds me of the time my old man and I squared off. <laughs> Who won that one? Well, I started to, but I was so scared of hurting him that uh, well, I ended up getting knocked cold. Did he beat you up? Is he bigger than you? Are you kidding? Nobody's bigger than that, Moose. <laughs> my dad, he was always threatening to give me a good wallop. Never did, though. Well, maybe when the war's over, will you be able to take him? No, he's dead now. You know, the captain's really a nice guy, isn't he? Yeah, he sure is. I don't know. It seems... Might be kind of funny, though, having an old army man for Papa. Yeah, growing up, would be kind of like a one long inspection. <laughs> I bet you that's why Cole's not in the army. But... Just uh, didn't know what to say. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? I thought it might be different. I mean, it's been a long time. But the minute Jack and I came face to face, the old hindsight department started working all over again, wondering about all the mistakes, the wrong moves while he was growing up. You want another? No. Am I boring you? No. You know, I've trained hundreds, thousands of boys. I did a good job, too. But when it came to my own kid, I couldn't get through to him. His mother, she uh, didn't like the army. Guess I couldn't blame her, only... Uh, well, I couldn't have been all wrong. I mean, about discipline, respect, the right and wrong ways to get things done. I tried to teach him. But he'd always turn to her. How does it all end up? A couple of million guys fighting their guts out all over the world, and my son winds up in the front lines with a typewriter. From what I've read, he's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, sure. Well, I've been enough belly aching. Good work. Cup of coffee? Thank you. That's right. Yeah. William G. at your service. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> Not a bit. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you probably came to just the right source. I mean, most of the guys in our outfit are kind of shy and well, they don't talk much, but every last one of them's got a story to tell. Now, some of them you wouldn't even believe. Is that right? Yeah. Of course, not much has happened to us lately. I thought you ran into some trouble today. Oh, there's nothing to that. A couple of dozen crowds jumped us on the way back home, but that kind of stuff is hardly worth talking about. Are you talking about danger? Last week, this machine gun had me pinned down. It's about 50 yards in front of me, and I was out on point. Tell me about today. Today? Well, like I told you, it's nothing but a skirmish. Guess Last week... Captains are a pretty tough guy in the field, huh? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Of course, he's been a soldier all his life. You know, he knows exactly what he's doing. Well, you know more about that than anybody, don't you? See, it was a 50 down there hidden in the bushes. Before I know what it, I'm... What the other guys think of him? Who? Captain. Oh. Well, they think he's fine. See, he's sitting right down there, right in the middle of no place. I didn't think... Kirby, he was... got security, remember? What, right now? Well, that's what the Sarge said. Hey, uh, you can tell me a story. Yeah. Listen, uh, well, I'll try to get together with you later, okay? Sure. I'll uh, be around for the next couple of days. Say, uh, there's a patrol in the morning, isn't there? Well, yeah, we're going out with the captain again, I think. I'll see you then. Fair enough. 
Well, Lil Jan, let's go see if there are any crowds out there on our perimeter. You know who the captain is? Oh, uh, yeah, he's in Lieutenant Hanley's tent. Thank you. Hero, wait for me. Let's go. How much time do we have, Captain? Four or five days at the outside before the push starts. Crowds are probably double their patrols. We'll start at daybreak. All right, Captain. I'll be going along too, Lieutenant. No, you won't. Lieutenant Hanley, I requested frontline duty. My orders specifically state... I don't care what your orders state. You're not going out on my patrol, and that's final. Good night, Sergeant. Good night, Captain. Sure. Can he do that? Yes, Cole, I'm afraid he can. It's the captain's patrol. This is what we need, a private speed. Yeah. How's the arm? Oh, it's fine, Dr. Kerr. Uh, look, son, as you uh, stay around camp tomorrow and get some rest, I'll take the patrol out. I better handle this one. All right. question. Why? Because I said so. Because you said so. It's hard to believe. Hard to believe that after all these years you haven't changed one bit. You haven't changed much yourself, boy. You still got a big mouth. I want to know why you won't let me go out in that patrol. We'll have enough to do without worrying about bringing you back in one piece. I can take care of myself. Still can't talk to each other, can we? Look, Captain, I got a job to do. All I ask is let me do it. Get you bend a little just once in your life. Let me go on that patrol. Good night. contact with the crowds if possible. Let's move out. Cole? Thought she's going with us. Kirby, let's go. Maybe he wasn't invited. Two miles from the river. Roger, out. Isn't it? No. I guess I was dumb enough to figure if we came face to face out here, we'd forget our own private little war. I should have known better. Maybe he figures this isn't a time or a place. You like him too, don't you? Sure, why not? If he can save us a couple of days by throwing that bridge across the river. Good enough for me. OK, 
stage. Keen, scout up ahead. The river should be just around the bend. Okay, let's go, Keen. We'll wait here. seen Kirby trying to snow that rider last night. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> you think he bought any of it? Well, I don't think he's writing fiction. Nah. Look, you guys laugh at me if you want to, but I'll be famous back home. You can bet on that. <laughs> now, that correspondent, he'll know a good story when he hears one. What's the matter, Kirby? Couldn't you think of one last night? <laughs> well, I couldn't think of nothing that fast. <laughs> Besides, I thought he was going to be out here with us today. The only get out here is a couple of sore feet. You think I was wrong, not letting him come with us? It's your patrol, Captain. I just don't think civilians got any business up on the front lines. All right. All clear. All right, then, let's get moving. Spot. That road we passed will be able to handle all our equipment, too. Let's go. Three days, right? Yeah, this is my first squad assignment. Where are you from, Keen? Nebraska. Little town called Sedeca. Hey, you're not gonna write about me, are you? Why not? Because I haven't done anything. I mean, the other guys, they've been up here a long time. They could really give you a story. Yeah, I'll catch up with them. Anyway, for the record, how old are you? 18. I'll be 19 next August. Why will my mother be surprised to see my name in the paper? Yesterday, was it uh, your first time under fire? Yeah. I was really scared, too. I was firing, but I don't know if I even hit anybody. They had me pretty well pinned down. As a matter of fact, if it hadn't been for your father, I mean, the captain, I probably wouldn't be here right now. What do you mean? 
Well, yesterday he dropped this crowd who had me cold turkey. And today I froze up when I saw the half track rolling down on me. He pushed me behind some cover before they saw me, though. You know, he's the one you ought to write your story on. You got any brothers or sisters? No, just mom and me. Where'd you take basic? New Jersey. It was really cold. Uh, thought I was gonna freeze. So anyway, after uh, after England, they split us up again, and I'd be coming here without any of the guys that I trained with. Give me. C Company's recon patrol caught it about an hour ago. The company wants more information on what the Krauts are up to. They want these two sectors checked out. You take Cage, what's left of Peterson squad, check out this area. The rest of the men are with me. Brother Tim. How about me, Lieutenant? Okay, Cole, get ready. Headquarters said they were sending you out to check over some new crop movement. I just got the call, sir. I'll go along with you. It could affect that bridge site. All right, let's go. Andy, where is he going? He's going with us, sir. Not with me, he's not. This is my patrol, sir. Now, wait a minute, Lieutenant. Captain, he has specific orders allowing him to accompany our missions. Headquarters sent him down here to report our action, and I've been told to cooperate. You had command decision on your mission, but this is my patrol, sir. I didn't ask for him to come here, but he's here. He requested this patrol, and I've agreed to it. All right, let's move it. Kirby, point.
They're all over the place, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. But I wish I had more ammunition. We'll have enough. Just squeeze them off carefully. Yes, sir. No, sir. No word yet. Over. Yes, sir. Will do. Roger out. sent for some heavy stuff. I still. I still. I was just trying to be careful and make sure I didn't want waste okay. any. Don't try to talk. I still. I still. I was trying to be careful and make sure that I didn't waste any. Don't try to talk. So 
Sarge is Doc. They're pinned down in that farmhouse, Sarge, about a mile west of the ravine. Get them to the field hospital. Cage, get a patrol ready. I'll call in the major. Right, Sarge. Stopped. How long have we been here? Almost an hour. You think they're sweating us out until after dark? I don't think they'll wait that long. I'd like to get off my chest. Wish I knew how to say this. I mean, uh, well, I'd like you to know that I'm sorry for... Well, for everything. Look, you don't have to... Let me finish, Jack. It's something I should have told you a long time ago. I know what you think of me. And I guess I don't blame you. I wasn't much of a father. Tell the truth, I never should have gotten married in the first place. I mean, when I was your age, all I really cared about was having a good time. I guess I was never really satisfied unless I was on the move, being where the action was. Yeah. Your mom... She, uh, well, all she really wanted was a permanent home and a husband who'd take
take roots. That wasn't for me. We tried to get together, but we just wanted different things. When you came along, it made it even rougher for both of us. I tried to make a go of it, but it was no good. I just wasn't ready to settle down. She deserved something better. And so did you. You know, she loved you. Right to the end. She always said that falling in love with you was the worst thing that ever happened to her. And the best. I know. I guess I felt the same way. When I got a little older, I tried to make it up to her, but... You two had grown so close, it just seemed I was in the way. It wasn't her fault. It's mine. See, every time you went away, she seemed so lonely, I tried to make up for it. I wasn't old enough to understand that she loved you for what you were, not what she wanted you to be. Remembering back in all those fights we had, I, I realized how I started most of them. You were just a kid. No, I knew better. Well, I just wanted you to understand that uh, I'm sorry we never got to know each other. And, uh, well, I think it turned out pretty good. You know what I mean. Dad, I came a long way to hear that. I should have come to you a long time before this, but I always found some excuse for not doing so. I was wrong. Yes, we both were. story to write, haven't you? Yeah. I got a story.
further, Lieutenant. About a mile to the farmhouse. Yeah? So far, so good. Yeah, so far. <coughs> I can't help it. If they let me get some sleep, I'd get rid of this cold. Yo, mm. auf, auf. Still, lieg still. I told you to get up. Er ist verwundet. This man is badly wounded. He needs my help. Ha! 
combat. Starring Rick Jason. I'm sorry, Doc. We got no choice. <coughs> Take it easy, Danny. You're gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right, Lieutenant. I'll, I'll be all right. I can make it. Kirby? <coughs> Just take it easy. We'll get you back. gonna help Danny that way. Well, what makes you think the cross gonna help him? He needs plasma. Yeah, but what he needs is a hospital. One dead, one wounded. It's not gonna make it any easier, Lieutenant. Yeah. Observation post could be rough. 
we don't find it and knock it out by tomorrow morning, they're going to direct their artillery all over us. Well, it'll make it a lot easier if we knew where it was. Uh, the Frenchman will know. He'll lead us there. Danny? Hey, I told you to keep your hands off him. All right, Kirby, knock it off. Let him go by. Get that go. Get that go. Get that go. Get that Aber langsam. Sanitäter. Name und Einheit. Peter Halsbel. Sanitäter. Fünfte Kompanie, zweites Regiment. Was machst du hier? Ich habe ihn mit verlaufen. Wohin willst du gehen? Äh, nur für Schell. Sind wir allein? Ja. Das nächste Mal gehe ich aber nicht allein im Wald spazieren. Da kannst du nämlich erschossen werden. Welchen Weg soll ich gehen? Da lang. Komm, lass uns gehen. Hey. Danke. Ich pass auf. Er ja, ist gescheiter. Wiedersehen, Kamerad. You and I will check it out. Cover us.
Antoine, c'est toi Pourquoi vous avez pressé longtemps Je pensais que c'était le docteur. Your husband. Is he here? Monsieur Fouché. Qu'est-ce que je dois faire Antoine n'est pas revenu encore. Mon fils, il meurt. Il est en train de suffoquer. English. Do you speak English? Il est là. Il, il est malade. Vous ne comprenez pas Il me faut un docteur. Venez. Vous voyez Il ne peut pas respirer, mon fils. Il faut que vous le diez. Little John, bring the others in. Je vous prie, vous avez un docteur Oui. Henri, on a fait venir un docteur. On va t'aider. Ne t'inquiète plus, chérie. Ne t'inquiète pas. You and little John, cover the windows. Doc, there's a sick child in the other room. See if you can help him. Doctor, aidez-moi, je veux prie. Mon petit garçon, il ne peut pas respirer. Can't she speak English? She said her son cannot bleed. Hey, you're full of surprises, ain't you? Osman. Ask her where her husband is. Où est votre camarade? Il va très bien. Je suis le docteur. Il est allé chercher un docteur au village. Il devrait être ici. Dépêchez-vous, je vous prie. A husband went to the village for a doctor. He should be here soon. Regarde, Henri. Je te mets deux docteurs. Pas un, mais deux. Kirby, keep an eye on him. Little John, watch for the Frenchman outside. Yes, sir. <coughs> How long has he been like this, ma'am? Le malade, combien de temps Bien, je l'ai trouvé dans la cuisine, là, ce matin. Il était déjà par terre. Maman <rire> Henri, bébé C'est très bien, c'est assez. Allez-y dans la cuisine. Bouillez de l'eau. What did you say to her? I told her to boil some water. She was only in the way. I did not know what else to do. We can just figure out what's wrong with him now. Look. before breakfast. That's where she found him. Well, I know a little bit about battle wounds, but uh, well, before the war, I was a grocery clerk. And I was in the hospital as an orderly. Well. Okay, open up a little bit. You know. hey, get me a light out of my bag, would you? Hey, hold
Thank you. You could have swallowed something. Aspirate it. Uh, aspirate down his uh, windpipe. Sometimes they cut an opening. Or we could uh, turn him over in. Well, it's worth a try. C'est très bien. Maman, je peux. Ils ont l'air là. Oh oui. Oh oui. Oh oui, bébé. <laughs> Look at it. It's a bean. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> It was a bean, Lieutenant. Huh? I'm stuck in his throat. He's going to be all right. Good. No sign of our man, huh? I'll give him five more minutes. Hey, Doc. Here's your stuff. I'll be back. Over here. Sit. No sign of him, Lieutenant. Scout down the road, see if you can spot anything. Right. Kind of a good feeling, you know. Could you have done it? Cut an opening? I don't know. No, I don't think so. I could not either. I remember once before the war, a girl was brought into the hospital. She had swallowed a mormel. They opened the throat to save her life. I could never do that. A marble? A marble. <laughs> when the lieutenant told you I understood German, you knew I didn't? Why didn't you warn those soldiers? You would have killed them. That is not my job to kill soldiers. How'd you get to be a medic? Did you volunteer? No, not at first. I wanted to fight Americans. Only after every battle I could hear the wounded. I tried not to listen, but they would cry for help. And no one would come. I could not let them die. When I put down my rifle, I just never picked it up again. We are what we are. Was it the same with you? No. No, I was drafted. When I went in, they were short on medics and cooks. Why? Oh, I thought I'd uh, be a cook, you know, learn a trade. So they made me a medic. You never carried a gun? No. Could you kill if you had to? Yes. Well, in force, there is no guilt, only compassion. But sometimes it is hard to do nothing while others are fighting. 
dying. You can't wait much longer. Are we going to go back? No, we're going to have to find it ourselves. I found three places in the map that look good. As soon as I get a report from Little John, we'll move out. Fouché, Antoine Fouché. J'habite à ferme là-bas. Papier. Là, c'est ça. Comme. Mais pourquoi Mais j'ai rien fait. Ich habe meine Befehle. Comme. Mais, 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 je vais voir mon fils. Mon fils est malade, je vais voir le docteur. Ah, mais pourquoi, mais je... Before I could slug him, Lieutenant. 
Lieutenant Hanley. Je suis désolé, Lieutenant, mais mon fils est malade. Speak English, please. Oui, I'm sorry, but my son is sick. I must get him away. Oh, he's all right now. He had something stuck in his throat. Our medic took care of it. He's all right, believe me. Oh, thank God. Now, we've got to get to the OP. No, I cannot take you. I must get back to my family. Well, there's no time for that, Fouché. But you don't understand, Lieutenant. The boss, they know who I am. In the village, they have arrested the doctor. I must get to my family, and I must hide them before the boss comes. Can you show me where it is on this map? Yes, I can. We are here. That way. It's about one kilometer, very close. There is a small graveyard, and just past it, on the hill, there is a water tower, the observation post. You cannot miss it. Now I must go. And I thank you for my son. All right, let's go. What about this crowd here? Try and gag him. Halsman, listen to me. Medic or no medic. One more trick like that and you've had it. Do you understand me? Coffee. Ah, danke. Bitte.
can't do any harm now. Certain that I did and want it. Yeah. Why don't you go on? I cannot do anything now. Well, neither can I. Like you said, sometimes it's harder to sit and just. Do nothing. Are you sorry for it? No, no. When I patch a guy up and I... Well, I figure he's got a chance to get back and get help, I... Uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. You and me are alike. It's good to find someone who understands.
guy in the tower. Like it's over. Leap still. Help me when they get back down here. I don't need you. Don't, don't move so much. What do you want me to do? Draw you a picture? Hit me, Lieutenant. Must have been a straggler. How is it? I'll be okay. We do all the dirty work and look who gets the purple heart. <laughs> hey, it's our stuff. Yeah, let's get out of here. Can you make it? Yeah, I'm okay. Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Let me go to him. Help me, Lieutenant. He could have left. Go ahead. Houseman! Danke. Okay. 